So it's not like science goes from one truth to another truth, discarding previous truths. Right. Not the physical sciences, at least. Um, not since the 1600s have we been in that situation. Yeah. Before the 1600s, that's, that's about when we, uh, the methods and tools and practices of what we now call modern science were forged. Mm -hmm. Galileo, Francis Bacon, folks said, you know, if you have an idea about how the world works, you should test it. <laughs> It, I don't care how it looks. Yeah. I don't care what your senses right. tell you. Right. Come up with an experiment that goes right. a little beyond your senses or extends your senses. Right. Galileo had a telescope. Uh, Liu and Hooke Hook had a microscope. Mm -hmm. You start seeing directions that were previously inaccessible to your sensory system. Right. Your eyes, your, your sense of touch, taste, smell. And so the universe comes to you now outside of your the experience of your senses right. and the experiment then becomes the measure of what is true not whether it makes sense